Hey guys, I'm Ryan. I've got to tell you about something I am so excited to announce. A dating app for all of us conservatives. It's called The Right Stuff, and it's launching this September. What I love most about it is that it's invite only, so not just anyone can join. First of all, it's free to use. And for my ladies, you'll never have to pay because we all get premium subscriptions for simply inviting a couple friends. Gentlemen, if you want access to premium, that's on you. And by the way, those are the only two options, ladies and gentlemen. The Right Stuff is all about getting into the right dating pool with people who share the same values and beliefs as you. You'll start off by building your perfect profile. No pronouns necessary. We want you to put your best foot forward, which includes your favorite photos of yourself doing what you love or being with the people you love. Our prompts give you the opportunity to let people know various sides of you. So remember, be authentic and creative. We're sorry that you've had to endure years of bad dates and wasted time with people that don't see the world our way, the right way. <laughs> oh, the right stuff. It's the latest dating app, but it's specifically for those on the conservative side of the political aisle. Oh, that woman they're pitching, his name is Ryan McEnany. Sounds similar. It's uh, former press secretary Kaylee McEnany's, McEnany's sister, and she's mm -hmm. launching this whole thing with a little bit of help, which we're going to get to in a minute. But first, let's talk about this this uh, dating site here because um, there's also great conversation starters. Let's go to that second graphic there with the pictures that she was scrolling through on that ad that maybe you guys didn't catch. But one of those conversation starters is favorite liberal lie. Then there's oh also I like God. that one above it. Do you agree or disagree that? What, bro, what? No, you leave me in suspense. What else do we agree or disagree about? Uh, our favorite liberal lies, apparently one of those things we can connect on. Again, I feel like maybe I'm in a giving mood today, but let them have it is my first thought. Um, but then again, it goes to the women and men only. Gentlemen, if you want to get on the premium, that's up to you. But you got to make sure you're a gentle man. Because that is <laughs> not going to last. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you're trying to get MAGA incels and you're giving women special handouts? Oh, no oh, 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 I can hear them <laughs> now. No, it's not going to last. You knock off an Annie. I swear to God, this woman. <laughs> so let me explain something to you. Do you like to be trolled online by egg emojis? Um, do you love to be told to show more skin on social media? Then you're gonna love our dating app <laughs> where we don't call it trolling. We don't even call it that. There is no such thing as catcalling. It's celebrating a woman and her lack of human rights. Like, do you wanna see like on a scale of one to 10, how much you're, you would be, are you like rapeable? I'm sorry, but seriously, this, this is, is the degree. These are the people. That they're going to attract, but I have to say, for the number of Bumble and Tinder dates, Jr., mm -hmm. who have like ratted on people who have stormed the Capitol, like this is almost this makes sense. That's like, I mean that's one of the things I feel like again I don't know any of these dating apps specifically the right wing ones, um, but what kind of questions do you ask? Like you know how do you feel about January sixth? Um, oh, I see your profile picture has the Capitol in the background on fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's weird. Were you there? I mean, but maybe, but actually, you know what? maybe that's the things that's going to get you a date on this site. Um, by the way, you did point out that it's not going to last. So did they, they said the same thing. They agree with you. Let's go to graphic three. It says the app is also currently focused on heterosexual relationships, as she pointed out. A representative said this, but added that it may expand it to accept same-sex relationships in the future. Why would you bastardize your site like that? Hey, no pronouns needed. But it can be she and a she relationship, or he and a he relationship. Apparently, in the future. Once it catches on a little bit, because these libs just take over everything. Uh, there's other uh, versions of this. The first thing I thought, Emily was bringing this up this morning as well. Other right wing uh, uh, dating sites that maybe didn't always last or maybe didn't catch on as well, farmersonly.com. Remember those ads? They were everywhere on like ESPN. So awesome. Here's some of the things they had to drop down menu. They did say, I'm a woman looking for a man or a man looking for a woman or look at that. Man and a man and a woman and a woman. Man, farmers only. I guess when you're really lonely, sometimes it just doesn't. Uh, they're open up to anyone, uh, even if it's disgusting nature of homosexual relationships. Okay, continue. There should just because be an additional like, I'm looking for a chicken. No judgment. <laughs> no judgment. <laughs> there is uh, some big money behind this though as well. So maybe this one will take off unlike those others. Co-founders John uh, Mac 
McKinty, who is a personal aide to former President Trump and then director of the White House Presidential Personnel Office, and Daniel Huff. He's a Trump appointee in the Department of Housing and Urban Development. And also White House advisors say that the right stuff will be different. They're all a part about this whole thing. They say it's an important underserved market. Liberals own the education, media corporations, and we can't let them control our personal relationships. Nobody cares about your personal relationships, says the people who are like, no pronouns necessary. Oh, are you dating someone that's of the same sex? Are you having children? Oh my God, did you get married? But they're the ones talking about how someone wants to control their relationships. It's always the upside down world oh. that these folks are living in. Now, uh, one other part about this, because uh, <laughs> Peter Thiel, who's a co-founder of PayPal, put some serious money behind this. Uh, he was he was the first outside investor in Facebook, and he put around $1.5 million into this dating app. And it's one of the many investments on uh, the political right that he's done. He's also invested in Rumble. It's an alternative to YouTube that's popular among conservatives as well. He's looking to make some cash, and you know what? Maybe it'll work. There's one other one that I remember, to, uh, I remember to, and we'll, I'm not sure if we have graphics on it, but there was a uh, Dating Donald, is that what it was called? No. Donald Dating? <laughs> Dating Donald, it's down there, right? <laughs> there was Hannah Date. Let's look at this graphic of Hannah Date. Hannah Date, welcome to Hannah Date, the place where people of like conservative minds can come together to meet. None of these really worked. Dating Donald also failed because immediately after people's personal information and I guess credit card information was immediately leaked. Maybe it's a of rat course. that he's looking for right now. Oh my God. Are you gonna jump on some of these? This would be fun, I want you to do it. Oh, I think it would be very fun to just be around and troll it and see what's going on. But bless America, I mean, bless Republican women. They keep trying, they keep trying and um, I wish them luck as they um, agree that their kink is watching that woman in the hat scream going. <laughs> And then they get all hot and bothered, and you know, then they go, uh, you know, make babies. And oh my God, this well, is. Well, they definitely, you know, you're not supposed to do that. If if you go through the process of what can create a baby, then that means that you know you should be married, right? Right? Sure, sure, just, absolutely. Just I, I, that's what I heard. Un, no, it's I'm full like, body oh. condoms, and you just sort of <laughs> like you know, naked gun it. We'll see if it works. By the way, the site was called Donald Daters, not Dating Donald. That's way worse. Oh. Donald Daters. They but wish it was Dating that. Donald. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna lose your, you're gonna lose your credit card information. You have to cut off the entire bank account.